It's a happy collab. <laughs> Play the intro. Ow! What's good? What's good with your boy Lamar Double R? What's really good? What's good, Dostas? It's your boy Lamar Double R, and if you're tuned into this video, then that makes you a purpose junkie. <laughs> Purpose Junkie, Purpose Junkie, Purpose Junkie. I know y'all hear Groot in the background. He was trying to sing along. But anyhow, Purpose Junkie, I'm so glad that you could make it in. It is a happy collab. It's another happy collaboration. WTF with the family tabers. Listen, I love y'all so much. Y'all really be holding it down for people who be blocked. I don't know. I don't be knowing what to post half the time. Like, my content brain, like the whole content section of my brain is long gone like sometimes it's there and sometimes it is sleep and this particular time it was sleep but of course wtf came in like superman superwoman and saved the day with another collab and guess what we paying tribute to the 90s say it loud uh oh i'm gonna try this again say it loud i'm black and i'm proud oh. say it loud oh. i'm black and i'm proud hey well i'm black and i'm proud say it loud tribute to the 90s your favorite music and your favorite movies from the 90s let me tell you something about the 90s a time a time indeed let me tell you something being raised first of all being born and raised in the 90s i can literally tell you i wish i could go back sometimes that was a time with no internet um child barely no cell phones at least you can only do oh so much on a cell phone back in the 90s and it was just a good time it was a good time to be alive let me tell you something the 90s for me take me back take me back <laughs> but today it is all about the 90s we are giving tribute to the 90s of course it is black history month listen power to the people in this case let me switch hands power to the people okay black history month even though we only get 28 days it is still a time a great time to be alive a great time to celebrate black history it's a great time let me get my arms off the table so i can quit shaking the table but today i just wanted to um you know just give a few things uh, a spiel or two one second i gotta get my drink for this hold on i'll be right back Woo, I was parched, okay? Today is all about black history, all about the 90s, all about everything that you could possibly think of when it comes to the 90s. It was a great time. I'm just gonna keep saying that. It was a great time. I don't wanna be before you too long, but what I will do is just walk down memory lane. One of my favorites, first of all, I don't really have a favorite song. Being a singer myself, it's hard to kind of just pinpoint and pick out favorite songs. I mean, because they're all my favorite, especially in the 90s. Anybody who knows me, you can ask them. When it comes to 90s songs, no song can do wrong in my eyes or to my ears okay so i can't it was hard to choose like a uh, like a top favorite 90s song so you know what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say all of them you can just go down the list you got swv you got tlc you got brownstone you got oh almost we're not gonna talk about him um you got him. Of course, you got Janet Jackson. You got Missy Elliott. You got Tweet. Oh, there goes my shirt up over my head. Oh, my. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Listen, just great music. To be honest, when I'm in a bad mood or when I, when I feel like being, you know, shooken out of, you know, depression or just a dark place, you know how you just don't feel like being bothered sometimes? 90s music, 90s R&B really just sets the tone. 90s R&B, 90s gospel music. Oh, I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. Was that the 90s or was that the 80s? That was the 90s. Now, you know what? You, when you wake up Saturday morning and you hear that, when you hear that playing, when you hear 90s gospel, 90s R&B playing in the background, just know your, your parents or your mama is in there cleaning up a storm. You hear me? I mean, toothbrush to the floor, rag to the baseboard. And if she know you up, if she, if she know you up, you know you're going to have to help her out. 
<laughs> but like I said, I don't want to be before you long. I do have about maybe what two or three. I'm, I'm gonna narrow it down to two favorite all time favorite 90s movies. Like when I tell you, it was so hard to narrow this down because like music, 90s movies was just movies and television in the 90s was just superior. You hear me? <laughs> Y'all better come down and get you one of these, okay? Superior. 90s movies and television were was it was just a superior thing even down to the theme music of a lot of our favorite 90s shows okay um but these two movies that i had to scramble and pick because i just did not know what to do these two movies that i decided to narrow down it was so hard but i had to do it because we really should just pick one uh but i wanted to pick a thousand but i can only pick two okay so the two that i ended up picking well number one is the one and only baby's kids listen that film right there baby's kids kind of turned it around for uh for, for for cartoons okay baby when i tell you that was a cartoon that put its mark on the world i don't know any black person that i know that does not know anything about baby's kids they ain't never seen it i know almost every black person that i've run into i kid you not has seen baby's kids listen when that thing dropped in 1992 it shook the table it shook the table because it was something that was never seen before nobody had really ever seen it and at least in my opinion in the 90s um cartoons were cartoons this cartoon was for adults and i loved every minute of it your mama my mama yeah, your whole family. Ain't that a look at you. Mama so old, she was there first day of slavery. Mama so dumb, she thought a quarterback was a refund. Oh, ain't that a look. Your mama so dumb, they told her it was chilly outside, she wouldn't got a bowl. I mean, when I tell you that's one of my all-time favorite scenes, when I tell you they was roasting each other's mama, then the friend had the nerve to laugh because she knew that was funny. That's how you know you lost in a roasting battle. When you're going back and forth and then somebody on your side is laughing at something that they said about you, ding, ding, you are out. That was one of my favorite scenes. Next, my last movie of the 90s. Oh, take me back. I can watch this movie backwards and forwards in my sleep. And that's the one and only, Baps. Baps, beautiful African princesses. Baps, and I tell you, that's one of my all-time favorite movies. I'm, I was serious when I said I can watch that movie backwards and forwards, and I know every scene, word for word. Don't watch that movie with me, because I will talk the entire movie. Unless you're gonna talk the entire movie, then you can watch that movie with me, but if not, put your headphones in and do something else while I watch my movie, while I watch Baps. I got two favorite scenes. I got two favorite scenes from Baps. I'm gonna show one uh, first. When I tell you, Golden. This duo, it, I couldn't have imagined anybody else playing these two characters. Like their chemistry together was just perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> right here in my etiquette notes that if they say how are you we say live in large and take a charge big boy you doing that country stuff how did you get past security at the gate begging is not permitted in beverly hills oh well that's cool because where we come from crackheads be begging all the time snap we can't even walk down the street without poop coming up snap <laughs> crackheads be begging all the time <laughs> that is my part that is my movie in general like i think i'm gonna watch that when i get off here y'all gonna make me want to go back and watch baps i just literally want to just sit down and just watch all kind of 90s movies because it's just the nostalgia i think i need like right now in this moment so i'm not even gonna hold y'all much longer because i definitely want to sit down and watch baps okay but i'm gonna go ahead and show you my last favorite scene from baps when i tell you it was this is what got me when a movie opens up and it's automatic it gets you it gets you right at the beginning it's like this movie is golden and and let me tell you something baps had some golden moments the comedy was hilarious it had some sad moments i definitely shed a tear or two man when that old white man died when that old white man died and he gave all that money to them 
I need to find me a white man that looks at me and thinks I'm a beautiful African princess. Okay? <laughs> Give me some money. Give me some money. <laughs> Here goes my favorite second scene of Babs. No, no, super fly little brother. Right, right, super fly. <laughs> Said you wanted these pom poms, so you got them. Girl, we need to move on. Video audition to hit the airwaves since the artist formerly known as Prince was looking for that special girl for his video, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World. Remember that? Italy. He's looking for that oh so special girl that oh, uh, has a great body, a great smile, look. and that twinkle in her eye. He's looking for. My mama always told me good things come in three. I heard it on the radio, now I read it in a magazine, and now it's on TV. This is it, Mick. Nisa, you bugging. But what if I ain't? <laughs> I feel like partying right now. Come on. Partying? We gotta try to save every penny now. Uh, it's Tuesday night. You know what that means? Ladies night at the Golden Duke. We get in free. Go, go, get it, get it. Go, go, get it, get it. <laughs> ah! When I tell you, it took, actually it didn't take too much anything for my male to do that. I tell you, you want to make a little parody scene for Babs and she said, let's do it. We got it together and we did what we could with the time that we had. Because when I tell you, anybody who's in this premiere watching now, just know that it is Saturday. It is Saturday, 8 p.m. Saturday night. And you are watching this the next day. I'm losing my mind. I don't know. I don't know what I thought I was doing. I just wanted to make sure I was here and in attendance for the happy collab with WTF with the Family Tabers. Listen, thank you once again for tuning in to this happy collab. Oh, I forgot to mention, if y'all forgot what happy stands for, happy stands for holiday and party items, okay? So it's a celebration every time we link up with WTF. I'm so excited and so appreciative. And I'm always honored to be a part of these amazing collabs. Shoot me the next one. I wanna be a part, but listen, you are a doster, and a doster is somebody who lives their life on purpose for a purpose. And if that's you, then you might as well deem yourself a purpose junkie. Okay? <laughs> now, while you out there living all purposeful and whatnot, doing what you do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, too. And make sure you hit that post notification bell so you can be updated every time I, your favorite doster, uploads a brand new video. Listen, I love you so much, and I love you to life, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ow. Hey, Dosters. Thanks for watching. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lamar Lions. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. What's good?